follow YouTube. This is Dr. Vibes, a learning point. In this video, we will study about hyperemia and congestion. Basically, we will be focusing on the differences between the two. So, for any difference, we have to make three columns. First should be the basis of the difference. Second should be hyperemia, the topic which you are going to write. And third is congestion. Right? Now, divide this into three columns. The first point of difference is understanding what is hyperemia, hyperemia and what is congestion. So the de definition will be the first basis of difference. Hyperemia is a hemodynamic alteration to the blood flow to any particular organ or tissue. There is a hemodynamic alteration to the amount of blood flow that is occurring to an organ or tissue. And congestion is a pathological condition. Pathological condition in which there is impaired vascular drainage, impaired vascular drainage from an organ or localized tissue. Right? Okay. Next point of difference between the two is cause or pathogenesis. Why is hyperemia occurring or why is congestion occurring? So arterial dilation is the cause. If arteries will dilate, then more blood will be supplied to that particular organ or the tissue and venous congestion is the cause of venous congestion or venous obstruction is the cause of congestion because if the veins do not drain the amount of blood appropriately then the blood will accumulate in that concerned tissue or organ third is temperature obviously if more blood is going to that organ what will happen common sense temperature will rise so it is a bit hot or warm congestion will lead to a cold temperature okay fourth is color any organ or tissue having a large amount of blood supply will be red in color and congestion will lead to bluish in color that is due to accumulation of blood because blood is accumulating in that area blood is not getting drained fifth point is is it physiological or a pathological process so see hyperemia can be both physiological as well as pathological if it is physiological then that then that can be due to exercise obviously if you exercise more then the amount of blood reaching to that area that organ will be more and it can be pathological in case of hypertension and congestion is usually a pathological phenomenon as i've discussed here it is a pathological condition so that occurs in right-sided heart failure so these are the differences between hyperemia and congestion we have discussed this into six points the definition the pathogenesis temperature color and is it a physiological or a pathological process